everybody. I was asked to make a short video about how I set up INAV on my um, Reptile S800 Sky Shadow. So I plugged it in and I'm going to connect to it. Uh, in there is a NACE32. That's the normal one without the um, without the barometer. So this is what I see here. I don't have I don't have a power plugged in, so there's um, no powered GPS, no powered um, OSD, stuff like that. Uh, reason is, uh, the OSD is attached to my UART1, which is used on the NACE for data as well. And since the NACE doesn't have enough um, UARTs, well, that's the way to go. I probably could have put the OSD onto uh, software 1, but I didn't try that. So those are my ports. UART1 is, as I said, that's the, well, the USB cable right now, data. And once the USB cable is unplugged and the battery is plugged in, this is going to be my OSD2. UART2 is Serial RX. Uh, I got a, a Crossfire, TBS Crossfire uh, receiver in there um, that is uh, communicating with the NACE through SPAS. So I needed uh, Serial RX. Uh, Soft Series 1 is uh, not in use. Soft Series 2 is my GPS. That's a cheap, um, it's called NASA GPS uh, from Banggood. It's like 10 bucks. I can link it in the description. And this is how I set up the, the ports. Uh, configuration is going to be next. Um, this is pretty much all standard. Uh, I don't have a compass. Um, this is set to SBUS, battery voltage. I got, I'm using the battery voltage pin on my NASE. I don't have a current sensor. I do have a GPS. And since I'm using the NASE, and the NASE uses an F1 processor, um, and only has enough uh, space for the U-Blox protocol, so I had to set up the um, GPS to send on the U-Blox instead of uh, NMEA. Seems to work just fine. Um, obviously I had to um, enable this. Those are the soft serials on my GPS is um, attached to. This is a black box. I'm using black box to well check stuff after my flights and the OSD. That's it for this page. Uh, I have failed save. I don't want it to land. I just want it to drop. But it doesn't actually drop. I uh, had a failsafe once, or I, well, I tested failsafe once, and um, it stops the motor and goes into a descend, a pretty slow descend in a right turn corner, and that's going to be fine. On the long run, I would probably use RTL or return to home, return to launch, um, but I haven't tested it enough to be to actually be sure it works as I want it to. Um, receiver tab, that's pointless. Modes, so I have set up um, four switches, three or four switches. Um, this is just just uh, random, it's always on. I want air mode to be always on. If I don't turn it on, then it won't stabilize if the motor is off. So if I want to glide down somewhere, then it's not stabilizing. So I need to turn air mode on in order to have it stabilized all the time. That's auxiliary, auxiliary 1. I also have a nav launch on auxiliary 1, the middle setting, and I got black box enabled for uh, whenever I do the nav launch because it doesn't... <clears throat> well, it, it, it works, but it doesn't always properly work. I don't know if it's iNav that causes a problem, but it sounds like from time to time, I throw the wing in the air, and I hear those three beeps doo -doo -doo, uh, of my ESC restarting. Might just be an ESC problem. So I'm using this channel. Then I got um, auxiliary three that has angle mode over there. Then it should have pass through mode over here. And the center section is um, not in use, so this is, um, well, the default mode 
and that is acro mode. So it will only try to stabilize whichever angle you are passed through is, well, passing through the signal you're sending. And up here, angle mode is trying to uh, keep the plane steady. I mean, not steady, but in in horizontal, well, it tries to, to, to keep the, the plane horizontal. So um, what else do we have? I have an arming switch. That's auxiliary four. Am I using that one for something else? No, that's it. Um, I do use nav launch. I'm really happy with that so far. Uh, in order to use it, I need to have nav launch on a on a uh, switch. So first off, you um, you set your your mode that you want to go to after launch. Then you activate nav launch. After that without touching the sticks, you arm it, and then you can throw it. But you cannot, you must not touch the sticks between uh, starting, starting uh, activating nav launch and actually throwing it in the air. Once you touch the sticks and they move, it will jump out of nav launch mode and you will have to, well, or you will be able to fly manually. I haven't made I haven't used it this tab at all. I do have, do have, well, I do have the servo reversed. I don't know if everybody else has to do that. I think I do have um, elevator reversed on my Tyrannus as well. This is GPS. Uh, it has timeouts now because it's well, the battery is not plugged in. Usually, it would have uh, would would show me messages here. This doesn't show me anything. This doesn't work because I have the micro minimum OSD attached. I do have another plane that has a, a Omnibus F4 flight controller that has a, a onboard US OSD and that actually works. What else do we need? Black box does work. And what everybody probably wants to see, those are my pits for the S800. Um, I haven't touched this yet at all. I have to change that because those numbers are just plain wrong. Um, it's more like a uh, 720 degrees per second probably. And uh, it, it flies well with those numbers. <clears throat> but those are probably too high too, because uh, the plane is super nimble and super quick. Um, so I have, to, I have to change those as well. But um, on INF, on, on the GitHub website, on the wiki, they just uh, released a PIFF tuning guide and they used the, the, the D term, derivative term, and the fields for it, for the FF term. So this is actually the FF term uh, after version 1.6. Um, and, uh, well, I have to go through the PIF tuning tutorial there and it's probably going to be even better i mean even with those with those pits piffs uh, it flies pretty well um what you probably want to know if you're on an older version 1.6.0 or 1.6.1 then you probably want to update if you want to use launch mode because it well it just doesn't work um there's a an error it just doesn't start the motors on 1.6.2 on the NACE, at least, it works just fine. So, um, one word to my setup: I'm using the um, the Emax Emax uh, Metal Gear ser servos. They sell with a kit as well. Uh, I do use the PDB. Um, I'm also using a Gemfan 2306 motor. Gemfan 2306, 2,200 kV. And a 60-40 or 60-45 prop. I do not use an HD camera in the front. I do use a um, Runcam Swift a FPV camera. Uh, the whole setup is um, 3S and I'm flying with a 3S Multistar 3S 4000 milliamp hour battery. And that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope 
that was helpful in any way. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments.